the ROM. Oh. Hey, for the Guild of Gladiators. Still gonna stick with the Marvel Stoopy over in that mid lane. Early Rook can not really need to expend your body because out of that non commit What, two minutes of, of gameplay? But the heck. On if he decides to go for a Magic ADC Whoa. build. The jungle taking the Circuit off the Ooh. table and then. It's two of his picks have been taken off the table. Cupid, but it's gonna be ex still on the ground there. You can still be damaged. You just CC him yet. Goodness gracious, Kirmi dropping down, but no! It's Johnny! The mobile god in this Maui. It's gonna be very important for the Guild of Gladiators to be able to play through their duo lane. Scary D and Julio boxing out, but here come the junglers, Kirmi and Johnny, who are going head to head here in the solo lane with simultaneous ganks on the right hand side. It's gonna be null for both these squads. I think you're right to point out inbound because he, he oh, absolutely is. Rough, rough. Well, maybe right to point out Woo! Scary D. Johnny will find the first blood for Hex Mambo, and they're continuing the push. Julio, now the new target for Kiermi. No knock up on that turtle. Julio able to escape. Each no now way! finds a 1v1 on Hawk in the mid lane. One in the mid lane. If he continues full this HP. kind of aggression, it's just a full combo. He hits the Rudy, it's the knockup, he hits the ultimate. Hawk doesn't stand a chance. In game number one, excuse me, game number two. Wow. I'm. It, the EGL picks got me. Let's talk about the soul lane, because up, this bro. this is also a little bit a little bit interesting. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll bail you out a Thank little bit so because much, I want to talk about Scary D. He goes to the Sobek, and he doesn't have the best game in game number one. I talked about how he may be the savior of the team once he started rotating in. This is much more a pick that you really want to get involved in, though, right? Sure. You're not relying. You're not waiting for all your tank items to come online necessarily. You're not this slower guardian, but. All that thought before that action comes out. Kiermi's getting chased down. Johnny will force him into the enemy jungle, and he's continuing on the W key. Johnny is not afraid to fight on this Kali. Typically a late game pick, but going into three members of the Guild of Gladiators. Baits out the Eat Shell. Old Johnny into the destruction with a barely enough time. Kha'Zix trying to create peel for the jungler who gets yanked back in with that landfall. Down goes Johnny. And continuing the aggression, the Gilded Gladiators find one more onto Hot Kha'Zix. Low HP, low mana. But the same thing can be said for the Glad. There is a hole from the Gilded Gladiators here in the second game because it seems like they want to get involved. Kirmi looking for that gank and now inbound looking for Hawk. Snoopy over the top doesn't connect with Hawk. Apple goes out onto Snoopy and the damage is being returned on the mid laner. Ultimate coming out, but now Snoopy in a tough spot here as Johnny has triggered the destruction. Snoopy's Great the target, kill. but Snoopy turns it right back around, is on the killing spree. Kha'Zix completely out of mana. Lockdown here from the Maui. Stun connects Kirmi with the auto attacks, but it's gotta be Snoopy. 4 0 oh, and 2. And Snoopy. Taking a look at a little bit of an invade here, going to be successful. Kha'Zix would love to turn things around here. He's going to snag inbound, pull him back into the team, but it's Kirmi blinking forward onto Spudio, who heads into the air to rain down fire from above, immediately dropping down as poison is being spewed onto the enemy ADC. Spudio finds the grayscale. Kha'Zix yanked back in by a landfall. It's going to be the duo lane of the Hex Mambo. Falling as the final ticks of damage come through Snoopy on a rampage. The Gilded Gladiators find two and the Gold Fury. Well, they do have to contest against this Hawk and Johnny in the area. They're going to look for the steal. Johnny, Hawk hovering around the area. Hawk, no apple to come out. It's going to be the Gilded Gladiators needing to secure this one. They destroyed the Gold Fury, but Johnny doesn't want to give this up completely for free. Leaps in, doesn't find Cure Me. And between... The four members of the Guild of Gladiators have about 4k gold, 4.5k experience. But, you know, great on them, good job. It's This is a ticking time bomb, right? Johnny on this Kali. Whoa. As Kha'Zix is going in aggressively, Apple finds inbound. Here comes Kirmi blinking in with the ultimate, taunting in the mid laner. Landfall off the mark there. Johnny is between three players of the Guild of Gladiators. Snoopy forcing the Hex Mambo back under this tier one tower. It's Stuart who has made the rotation from the left lane. Snoopy falling low, a well-timed Aegis keeps the mid laner alive, allowing Kirmi to put the finishing touches on the Kali, who finds the fifth death of her game. Kha'Zix and Hawk defending the mid lane might not be advised here. Hawk, death rains down from above. Hawk falling low, final shots coming through from inbound. Only one more auto, not gonna find it on the mid laner, Snoopy does fall to Kha'Zix in the meantime, and it's a reach. That Hawk is still alive in that fight. He actually might not be up for as long as he oh. fakes the blink in and Wait. fake peel. But 
Scary D is Scary D didn't fight no, no one way. the apple comes out and Scary D ties Hawk's still alive the pyromancer the Guild of gladiators still looking to push this lead it's only Hawk here to defend cancel that Julio has made the rotation in as well cure me with the ultimate rainbows slamming into Julio there Kha'Zix has joined the fray as well Snoopy takes down the solo laner but Hawk answers it back with a kill onto cure me Kha'Zix and Johnny aren't willing to let this one go for free inbound Solar Swing does find his way out of this engagement. Kha'Zix wants to keep this rolling, though. It's a landfall in. Hawk is eviscerated. Stewart finding the final touch on that kill. Kuzumbo a dash away, but four members of the Guild of Gladiators chasing this turtle down. Stewart with a double kill. They'll find three in total, and they'll find the Tier 1 tower as well as they head right back to the Pyromancer on the right-hand side of the map. The Guild of Gladiators, a little bit questionable there. Scary definitely did not to need to dive on that tower. But they get a huge win in mid, and they get another fight win right next to that Pyromancer, and the fight continues to look clean for the Red Squad as Kirmi is just forcing him down onto Spudia will force the ultimate and head out of there. Thought he may stay. Primal Fury started up here by the Guild of Gladiators. Spudio and Kha'Zix trying to defend this objective. It's falling low. Landfall. Steal it! Uh, Guild of Gladiators grab the Gold Fury. They, they confirm it. it. Yep. Scared me, Frog. As Johnny, yeah, Kha'Zix, and Spudio are continuing the chase down here. Johnny wailing away on the Guild of Gladiators. Destruction is forced. A leap out. But in the air is Stuart who cannot find the final shots onto the jungler. One shot connects from the ROM, two shots connects, three is off the mark from Spudio and the Guild of Gladiators able to grab themselves a Primal Fury and get out, Scott. And I think Johnny just has to be smarter about those dies if they're going to look for that. He has to hold on to Julio and, and wait until he is diving and giving him those space in these fights. Well, both these squads now contesting the Scission Beacon a little bit more aggressively than they have in the past. It's Julio from the solo lane knocking up Snooky, and it's Spudio knocking it down Snoopy. Hex Mambo able to grab control of the Stygian Beacon. The rest of the Gilded Glads aren't willing to give this one up totally for free, but it's only a show of face. Hex Mambo confirmed the beacon for themselves. Gilded Gladiators have been using that very well from the 6 gel pick, but that means that if Hex Mambo are targeting out this mid laner first and dropping Snoopy before he gets a chance to use that ultimate in these fights, where, where does your healing go? Where, where, does your, where does your facilitation go as a mid laner? Kha'Zix in on the Pyro. Stewart is the target here. It's Kha'Zix and Julio in the back line, but Stewart immediately taking to the sky. It's that get out of jail free card, but here comes Johnny. The Hex Mambo want this ADC to die, but a great pull back in from inbound. Keeps the ADC alive for a moment longer. Scary D taking out Hawk in the back line. Johnny just will not give this one up. Leaping away is the Kali Snoopy making the rotation in the back and Johnny blinking directly in to death. It is a 2 for 0 oh swing. The Gilded Gladiators grab a pyro, grab two kills, and are on the hunt. Once, ag once again, the Hex Mambo are never letting any objective go completely uncontested. It's four members of the Mambo up against the Gilded Gladiators. Kirmi already dropping low to half HP. Julio versus the world here as the King Arthur is swinging away. Immune for damage for just a moment, but it's going to slam down and escape as well. Hawk takes out Kirmi in the back line. Kha'Zix looking to keep the engagement rolling here on the Gilded Gladiators who run away with the tail tucked between their legs. The Hex Mambo find a pick onto Kirmi and retreat back to the Oni Fury. Hex Mambo get in early on that one and Julio is a big part of it. He starts out the fight. He drops a couple of members low but really what he does is make space for Hawk to free cast. You get that golden apple and you get that... They've completely gotten past that point. Now we're into a totally different stage. They'll pick up the pyro and gonna cut it. He has to show up here at this fire giant. Here we go, Frog. The objective started up by the Gilded Gladiators, dropping half HP. Julio blinking in aggressively. Kha'Zix forcing the back line of the Gilded Gladiators out of this fight, but falling low in return as the damage is raining down from above. Spudio takes out Scary D. Snoopy turns it right back around. It's a one for one so far. Astral arrows fired from above out of Spudio. And it looks like it's going to be a one for one trade. Because once again, Johnny was late. Last time, he was late to the Gold Fury off of a death timer. That's not really on him. This time, he was farming up on the left hand side. And now, he might get picked out here. Another grouping Ooh. from the Guild of Gladiators. The Glad see an opportunity here, but Julio wrapping around the back line, knocking down inbounds to low HP. Forced out by Isho. Kirmi finds Hawk in the back line, who was at low HP. Kazakh spinning around, knocking up the Guild of Gladiators. 
Finds one in return. Johnny ripping through with that chin size. Kali Stewart to fall as well. A double for the Kali. Snoopy, low movement speed. The immobile E shell being chased down here by a movement speed enhanced Kali. Blinks in, stun off the mark, over the top, jumps. Snoopy oh only delaying death as Johnny picks up the triple. Johnny comes alive and is the superstar of that fight, and it's because of the patience that comes through. He waits oh. in that green buff, and he's just... Hold I won't even break it down just yet. They've got a Phoenix on the left-hand side. They might push this forward. Okay, I got okay. a little bit too excited. Yeah. Sets Hex Mambo up for positioning on the Fire Giant. The Gladiator Secure is in the grayscale. No longer Snoopy walking in for base. The Fire Giant down to a quarter HP. Scary D trying to create space here, but Johnny just rips through the solo laner. Stewart in the back line forced up into the sky as well. It's Julio and Kha'Zix taking down the back liner. Kirmi does find the Kuzumbo, but Johnny finding another kill in oh the meantime. My. Now three again. Johnny cannot be no! that four. Johnny with the penta leaping out of his chair. The Gilded Gladiators cut down by the Kali. I am speechless. We were talking about how he had to come online. Two, six, and two was not going to cut it, Dimes. And it sure didn't cut it. He ends the game 10, six, and two. They've got the fire minions. They've got the opening here. The Titan will get taken down by Hawk. And only 10 seconds remaining on Scary D. Surely they will be looking to end. Maybe not. They've got to back off. Johnny wants another Pentacle. The reins on this game. Frog, as soon as we saw this Kali, you and I were sitting there. We see this Kali locked in. And we say this game is on a timer. I mean, once Johnny gets this... No towers remaining here for the Guild of Gladiators. Left-hand Phoenix due to respawn in a moment. Landfall grabs Kha'Zix to kick things off, who immediately has to spin away. Stewart looking for some protection. Shred up above is not going to find much of off of that ultimate. Right hand. This. Hex Mambo starting up the Fire Giant here. The frontliners and Kha'Zix and Julio have been surgical separating the back line of the Gilded Gladiators. Fire Giant falling down to half HP. It's basically Spudio on the objective. Kha'Zix in the back line playing the distraction. Here comes Kirmi and Scary. Scary already dropping to low HP. Spudio forwarding shots into the Soul Leader. A three-man landfall, but it doesn't matter. Kirmi drops to Hawk, who falls to low HP, dashes away. The Hex Mambo on the back foot here for the moment. Scary D dropping low to the auto attacks from Spudio. Hawk picks up a triple for himself onto Scary D. Johnny ripping through with the destruction. A divine Kali on the map inbound. Yanks back in. Julio protects Snoopy for a moment here. And it's a low Hex Mambo versus two more from the Glads. They pull them off the Fire Giant, but they th the critical part is these are 30, 40 second death timers. They've got time to back off, reset, get that health back, and come right back to what is now an enhance. Gets up into that ultimate, but ultimately they, they then have to separate. Security takes too much damage and leaves Kirmi alone, and then both of them die. It's now only two here to defend this Fire Giant, and I'm not sure that they can. Julio just chases them away. An enhanced Fire Giant for Hex Mambo after just a, a couple of picks. But now they've got this sixth man. They've got the Phoenixes at the very least that they can rely on. And Kha'Zix, last time, he got chased away with the ultimate. If they can secure that kill off of the engage this time, if they can secure a tank early on in this Phoenix fight, it's going to look much better for the Gladiators. A weakened bird on the left-hand side, a weakened bird on the right-hand side for the Gilded Gladiators on the back foot here at 35 minutes. Landfall grabbing Kha'Zix, who's more than happy to be pulled into the Gilded Gladiators team. Spins away there. Snoopy dropped to half HP from the Discordia Apple inbound. Low, the target, Julio. And meanwhile, Johnny just ripping through for free. the middle lane Phoenix for absolutely nothing on the right-hand side. Split up are the Gilded Gladiators. Hex Mambo looking to take advantage of how low the Gilded Gladiators are. Moving in on the right-hand bird. That one goes down as well. Only two objectives remaining here for the Gladiators. A left-hand Phoenix weak. A half-health Titan. Fragile hopes of the Gilded Gladiators here as Kha'Zix moves in. Julio is here as well. Stewart spitting poison from the Martikaris. Spudio in the back line falling low to Kirby, but it doesn't matter because Johnny is 
Here, a double kill! Immortal for the jungler for the Mamba! Once again comes in to save the day. You find a dive for the Gilded Gladiators. You feel like you have to do something. Both your Phoenixes just fell. They're right on the outside of your base, and you get the solo jungle dive once again, but at this point in the game, it's not enough, and now it's five versus three to defend against the Titan. The entirety of Hex Mambo moving in to the base. The Titan at half HP. The Gilded Gladiators forced back under their fountain as the Hex Mambo are going to go unscathed here at Smite Summer Masters. Remaining undefeated. 10-0 and 0 in total matches at this point of the Hex Mambo. And for good reason. In game number one, they look brutal. They run it down a 20-minute game, 10,000 in the goal lead, and they look totally unstoppable. Here in game number two, it's a different story. They have to bounce back from an early deficit. They get the Gold Fury taken from them. The Pyromancer gets taken from them. And it's all this 3v3 up against some more SPL talent, especially talent that have been on hot streak.